So I'll cover maybe just five significant achievements from the past year. Um, the first is our enterprise asset registry project. We found that we had data silos, and I, I know that's not unique to us. I think that's inherent with every organization across the world that you have data silos. So we're trying to address that issue um, with developing one authoritative source for our asset registry. Um, and that's the foundation for asset management, everything asset management moving forward. If we have a solid asset registry, we know what we own, we know where it's located, we know the age, asset criticality, things like that we can really build a sound asset management program. Um, so we took about 80 different disparate data sources and vetted those. And then um, through that vetting process, we came up with one authoritative data uh, source for each of, each of our assets across the agency. Um, we're developing 18 different geospatial layers, um, like dams or conveyance lines, like canals, pipelines, uh, roads, bridges, um, a total of 18. Um, we've completed three of our 18 asset classes so far. I reported last year about the Reclamation Transparency Act. This was included in Public Law 169, the John D. Dingle Jr. Conservation and Recreation Act. Um, tucked in that act was a requirement for the Bureau of Reclamation to report on its repair needs um, across the agency over a 30 year period. Um, our first report to Congress is called the Asset Management Report was due to Congress March of 21. Uh, we published that, uh, we provided it to Congress in March of 21, um, didn't really hear much. And then the, this new $1.4 billion infrastructure bill uh, came out and Congress referenced that asset management report developed by the Bureau of Reclamation. They took it word for word, uh, pulled out our needs over the next five years and included that data directly in the infrastructure uh, bill. So uh, the Senate passed that bill. I think everybody's aware it's currently with the House being debated pretty vigorously. Uh, we're hoping that passes. Um, if it does pass, it's an opportunity to address all of our repair needs over the next five years, about $3.2 billion, which would be just amazing for our agency. So I'd say that's another win for asset management right there. Um, and then finally, our computerized maintenance management system, we have an IBM Maximo platform that we call Karma. Uh, we took on a strategic plan effort this year. Um, it was four phases. Uh, the first phase, was to look at how we're currently using our Maximo system um, and also what staff from the field level, from folks turning wrenches in the field all the way up to headquarters, what they want on that system moving to, into the future. Um, and then the second phase was to benchmark us against 10 other large utilities. Um, so I know we benchmarked against uh, Army Corps of Engineers as well as some other large utilities. Um, the third phase was to have the contractor develop uh, three different alternatives for us, including a status quo. Each three alternatives also had a cost benefit analysis. So that's where we are right now. There's a fourth phase for a detailed implementation plan, but we're currently at the, at the third phase um, on whether or not we're gonna take the step forward on, it's a pretty large investment into that system to improve it to the point where we can really use it as a true enterprise asset management system. And we're briefing our leadership over the next two weeks on the effort. 